coming. Stop! You violated the law. Pay the court a fine or serve your sentence. Your stolen goods are now forfeit. What? What do you want from me? No, no, I've done nothing wrong. I oh, <laughs> I just found in my in my hoodie. Oh, look, I've still got a a South by Southwest Sydney drink token. What night was this for? Redeemable only at location the Abercrombie. Date sixteenth of October. Ah, oh, shit, can't use that. Oh no, I forgot to use that drink token. What have I done? Wasted. Let's turn the music down just a little. My eyes hurt. <laughs> hey, you going, Nobo? Were you at PAX? Were you at PAX? I didn't see a lot of people at PAX because I was working at one of the stages. I just emptied out my wallet of the business cards I got from Paxmas. I've still got to go through my... In one of my bags, I've got all the... I've got all the cards of all the indie indie developers. I like the look of their games at South By. I just grabbed them, put them in my pocket, and I put them in my bag, and I was like, I'll look at this when I get home. Still haven't looked at them. The only, the only business card I've got is Nick Tacular's new one. I took that from PAX because we were on the panel together. And then at the South by Southwest accommodation, I just, I left it in like, like on the table in the fruit bowl the entire time. And everyone's like, whose is this? I'm like, it's Nick Tacular. Like, have you not seen? Read the card. All right, let's jump into it. I'm, I'm still so, I'm still so very delirious. Like my body and brain still haven't recovered, but I was like, this will be fun. This will be fun. This will be fun, 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 fun. I got like four of them at breakfast. Drinks on Friday. The other one was later on that day. Four by lunchtime. That's a great effort. I love, I love, I love seeing how creative everyone gets with their cards now. It's really cool. Maybe next year I'll bring back, like, I'll do better Corb's pins or something. I don't know. That it'll depend on if I'm in the Omegathon again next year. Uh, if I can, I will be in the Omegathon again next year. But there's a chance that Pax and South By might be back-to-back -back again or something. And there's a chance that something else might get in the way. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Can't talk about that. Well, this is the address. Yeah. E. E to go. Says to take the elevator. Did she, did she say... Corpse for Pax PM? <laughs> Gotta pick one, because I've already been called the... What did Jerry... He called me the the king of Pax last year. And I don't know if that title continued. Pax Prime Minister. Uh, someone please give me a job. <laughs> did she... But did, she uh, uh, did she say says or says? And which is correct? I guess there has to be one around here somewhere. I can't believe I'm doing this. How... Desperate can you get? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> I like the, the lighting. The mood. Very cool.
This this is not an inviting elevator. Like this this doesn't even look like like the one in the back rooms for like at malls and shit for like an industrial elevator. This this is not this is not this is not an inviting elevator. Yeah, let's yeah, let's go. Tax minister. Tax minister. I'll do it. Sign me up, Nova. I'll do it. I'll, I'll take the mission. Oh no! Is the scary elevator breaking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like if this is like the drawbridge of elevators. I don't think we're going to a modeling audition. Hello? Come on in! Grab yourself a drink! Hello? Anybody what? home? I saw an ad for Models Wanted. Is anyone here? No. Ah, guten Tag. Oh. Hello. Yes, yes. <laughs> you will be perfect. Oh, God. Yeah, one hour photo. Robin Williams, what have you done? Follow me, my dear. I don't know if I want to. <laughs> Hello, Miss uh... Pamela, and your name? Ah, a lovely name. I am Hans, but Miss Pamela, names matter little here. No, no, you and I are about to make history. This will be the greatest photo shoot the free world has ever seen. Okay. Is, 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 and is this photo shoot going to happen on your meat couch over there? Or whatever the f whatever that's made of? That's great. And that's only worth $40. <laughs> Miss Pavela, one must not put a price on the changing of a world. Right, of course. Okay then, uh, where do you want me? Inside the closet lie the tools for the building of a new society. Okay. My, uh, what now? The clothes for the photo shoot. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Please, put them on and then meet me out here and we shall begin. Okay. Soon, no one will remember my name as Frankenstein, and will soon know me as Hans Photostein. And hopefully forget about the criminal charges. Thank you. You're a real gentleman. Uh... What, what is that? What is that made of? I'm concerned. Give me a hat. Hey, uh, Hans? Oh, E. Yes? Yes, my dear? Which one of these dresses did you want me to wear? Dress? Dress? No, no, my sidekick. No dress. The pillow. Put the pillow underneath your shirt. Uh, okay. Oh, wonderful. Just wonderful. Please, my dear, make your way to the set. Okay. Just follow my instructions and we shall be famous. All right. 
Whatever you... Now, uh, make your way to the washer and pose for me. Look straight into the camera. Stare into it as you are staring straight into the eyes of your great school bully who has just taken your last nougat bar and tell him um, to... Uh, to... Um, uh, to, to, uh, to go yodel his mother. Wait, is this the guy? Is this the guy that was on the bus in Bloodwash? And are we gonna reenact the Bloodwash murders? Is that what's going on here? What do you want me to do? I'm here. Oh. Excellent. Take your time, Hans. Now, uh, now go over to the couch. Yep. And look at it with the remorse you would feel if you, uh, if you had created a monster made from corpses and given it life, inadvertently causing it to destroy a whole village and cause you to flee forever from your homeland. <clears throat> yeah, do that. Okay. Yeah, yeah! Okay, now the moment of truth. Halt! Someone is at the door. They don't lose your energy. <laughs> I shall return. Oh, I can't leave the set. Alright. Who's there? Hans, is that you? Smile for the camera. Oh god. Ooh. So I think I read that you play as both the killer and I think a detective something, which should be interesting. You need to put old Bessie back where she belongs. Where would that be? Yeah, I don't know where the gun goes, mate. Oh. Top secret files. It's a big walkie talkie. Old files from past missions. My most recent mission. Headquarters needs to send me on another soon. Starting to feel like I'll go crazy in this shithole they had me stationed in. Funny. I can't seem to remember what I put in here. Why not? It's locked though. Hello, actor. Hello. Hey, you go. How are you? It's empty last time I checked. Do I want to go into the yard or do I want to... It was a back room. We are doing some spooky gaming. We just started. Sniper killer. I don't like going back there anymore. Okay, we're, well, I guess we're not going there then. We're going in the backyard. We just started. We're currently playing as the Sniper Killer, I assume. And it's one of those, like, retro aesthetic sort of games. Basement? Leads to a basement. The strange thing is I don't recall having a basement. 
Maybe I'm thinking of a different place headquarters stationed me at. I get them mixed up. The doors won't budge. Alright. Is there a dog or something we can play fetch with? Something nice? Something jolly out here? Shed? It's locked. I lost the key a while ago. Not much to do around here, mate. I don't know what you want me to do. A mirror. Mirrors make me nervous, so I brought it out here. I think this guy's a little cooked. Um, was there something I missed in here? So I looked at the folder. Nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Check that. Check those. He doesn't want to go around there. Just a bunch of files. Can't do anything there. Oh, agent. You orders directly from the Pentagon. Make your way towards the fun side carnival. You will receive further information upon your arrival. From the Pentagon? Well. Oh boy, here I go killing again. Does he actually work for the Pentagon, or is it just someone taking advantage of someone who's a little, a little crazy? Agent, do you read? Yep. Your mission is to find a vantage point over the carnival. Okay. Take out the person wearing the werewolf costume. Alrighty. I can do that, Mate Rooney. Spooky ghosts! <laughs> Little feet. Wow! <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Hamburgers. Hamburger, please. It's a Halloween party. Soft pretzels. Ooh. I can't order any soft pretzels. My week has been very, um, I've just been trying to. Oh, excuse me. I've just been trying to take it easy and just focus on getting through the days at work. Because uh, he only got back from Sydney. Um, Sunday or Monday. If I remember correctly. Um, and yeah, I was away at South by Southwest, Sydney. Working at that for over a week. And before that, I was at PAX Australia in Melbourne for a couple of days. So that was all non-stop. So I am... <laughs> I am still very tired. So I'm trying to just have a good night's sleep every night and just get through work. Um, but it's been good. It's just sad to be home in a way. I miss all my friends and doing the cool stuff, but that's all right. There'll be more stuff soon. Sorry, pal, right is closed. God dang, I'd kill for some good food right now. Ah, I'm still just, yeah, physically and mentally tired, Haven't had a break but in a good day. way. Just the days were long, 
and it was like every day you know going like working at on site from like eight till five and then there was always like just about every day excuse me there was something on at night so it was go 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 should i i should be keeping ah oh, here's the werewolf this is the person i need to assassinate so i'll make want some food so if we get him some food then he might leave his post and then we can go up to the, up the ferris wheel um <laughs> So this guy's not selling anything. You forgot about Pax. No, actor. Oh, we can shoot from here. No, get out of the way. Oh, I missed. This isn't suspicious at all. I'm gonna wait till we go back up. actually get like a score almost five minutes 33 and two shots so what's the plan boss this doesn't feel like a homework assignment you gonna fill me in on why two journalism students are at a murder scene on a school night just do what you're paid to do Clyde yeah Clyde but I get paid nothing. <laughs> right, so do nothing and stay quiet. Come on, Gail. From a somewhat friendly acquaintance to a somewhat friendly acquaintance. Why are we here? Yo, Panda. Yeah, just as I was going live, I saw the I saw the group chat and I was like, yes. Keen for some more Age of Empires. Let's giddy up. <sighs> ah. Is this about Pamela? Yeah. I, I don't understand. You think this is related? I don't know anything, Clyde. That's why we're here, to ask around, see what exactly happened. I have a bad feeling about this. I hope I'm wrong, but I don't think Pamela was the last victim of this psychopath. Hey, May. You smell. Look at this dingus. Oh, how you going? Oh, look at this short fry over here. Stay away from my shoes, man. <laughs> how you going, mate? And how are you, Panda? What's good? Oh, it's an ad break. Can I snooze it? Yeah. Click the snooze button. Oh, I didn't I didn't read the thing. How you going? How you going? We're uh What are we doing? <laughs> We're solving murders and shit. 
who's going back to watching a goofy movie since I was watching it until I saw you alive. Have a good stream. I'll keep showing It's very kind of the actor. I hope it's good. Um, I haven't seen the goofy movie since... Oh, God. Probably when I was a kid. <laughs> I'll do it again. A goofy movie. Thank you, actor. Just okay, May? You had a good birthday, right? Oh, my cable, my cables. My cables gone everywhere. I'm, I'm good. I'm just, I'm, I'm so very tired. I'm still so very fatigued. Excuse me. I'm still so very tired mentally and physically from Paxton South by Southwest. But I feel good because I got to hang out and do cool stuff with a lot of really great people. Which makes me feel good inside. I'm very glad you did, May. And I think you made the right call changing from... Were you, was it Elden Ring? You're trying? And then you changed the color to the lamb. That seemed like the good choice. And it looks like you had a good time out. And thank you for responding to my... My Twittering. Um, I'll see you. I'll see you in Melbourne later this year. I'll be back. Unless something happens. Oh, we'll be back. It'd be great to hang out again. That would be fantastic. I may or may not have ordered an Umbreon onesie already. So I do need, I do need something like that anyway. So I was like, now's the time. All right, fine. Snoop around. I'll get some shots of the Ferris wheel or something. Ow. Need to trim my nails. Let me know if you need anything. Just do your, just do your job, Clyde. Thanks, Clyde. I really do appreciate you coming with me. I did, mate, because I was like, I should, because, like... It's alright, Battle Cat. We've got Clyde with us. We've got Clyde the cameraman with us. I did, mate, because uh, whenever I travel places, like when I was packing for PAX in South By, um, I always run into the dilemma of, like, um... What do I pack for pajamas? Or am I like, do I just hope that no one will disturb me and I can just use boxes or something? Um, and I'm always like, I've got all these like, un, like, pajama pants and shirts that just don't match. And I'm like, I don't like any of this. So, so yeah, when I saw your reply, I was like, well, it'd be great to hang out with May in that again. Um, and I immediately remembered your Vaporeon thing. So I was thinking like, well, if say, Say I'm in Melbourne, I'm hanging out with May and friends and playing Magic the Gathering or something, and you're dressed as Vaporeon. Well, that's not very fair. Then I need to be dressed up as Umbreon. Because in the... For the, for the, sleep, for the sleepover. <laughs> like, it just it doesn't make any other sense. So, so yeah, I got, I got a Umbreon onesie on the way. <laughs> Hopefully it's not bad quality, but we'll find out. It'll be funny. How are you, Battle Cat? How are you going? Oh, hi! Stop right there, citizen. Whoa, sorry, kid. There's sort of a murder investigation going on right now. Yeah. Yeah, I know. You'll have to wait until tomorrow to get on the rides. Is that like, like, um, like the, it's like the full thing, May? It was real. I thought it was cool. You and um, oh, what's your friend's name? It was. It was. It was always nice running into you and your friend who was also dressed up. Uh, what was her name? Uh, I didn't really have a chance to stop and talk, so it's not. It's not cemented in my brain. I thought it looked good. Three thirty-eight a.m. Battle Cat. What are you doing? Why didn't you sleep, Rabby? Yeah, she. She was lovely. Yeah, it was always nice bumping into you dressed up, like out at, um, Fortress and that. It was like, hey, 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 hey yo, how you doing? <laughs> I'm not a... Look, officer, who's in charge here? 
Oh, ad break. Where's the where's the thing? I have no idea if the ad break is currently going or if it's stopped. Why are you asking? I think I might have some important information. Oh yeah? I doubt that. But like if you're you, I don't give a shit. So go on in. Look for a fat guy with a cigar. That's Detective Dutch. Detective Dutch! Well, thank you, sir. Oh, have you not have you not seen me since I cut my hair battle cat? I cut it because, uh, yeah, I worked at that Nintendo thing earlier in the year. So I got it cut and styled for that. But then how it was styled, like every day it would require hair gel to keep it in shape. And I was like, I can't be bothered. So once that event was done, I just got I got them to shave it down. So now it's um just, you know, back to basics, grow it back out. And we'll, uh, we'll see what happens with it. Oh! Oh, Battle Cat. Flattery will get you anywhere. Thank you, lovely. <laughs> I'll take that compliment. It is, no, it's, it is very, it is very different, Battle Cat. Um, I've been so used to having the, the, the fro, so to speak, for so long that, um, whenever I go back to having it this short, it's always like, oh, I can feel the... I could feel the air on my ears and the back of my neck. This is different. And I don't have to like spend ages like shampooing and combing my hair. So that's nice. Hello, squid. The old corb orb. <laughs> How you going? But thank you very much, Battle Cat. It's very kind of you. Oh, there ads. The ads are happening now. Oh. Uh. I'll wait till that comes back. So we're looking for the guy with the cigar. Oh! <laughs> you want her, Bobby? Why are they just left here in the crime scene? <laughs> you want her, Bobby? Why are they? Why are they left? Why are they left here in the crime scene without an adult? What the fuck? Sorry, Battle Cat. Be yeah, sorry, Battle Cat. I don't know how much you heard, but thank you for the compliment. Battle Cat, that means a lot coming from you. Thank you very much. And Squid, hello. I'm not sure if you heard me. Hello, Dex. How are you going? We are back. Back from the Great Convention War of October 2024. I just had so many. Huh? Like, literally got a. You got a what out? A what? Who? What? You got a what? Got a out? Oh, a sentence. Oh, a sentence. I was like, what? I came English. I swear. No, you're all right. I was just. I thought that might be like a. I don't know what the hell that was. I was like, what could that be? I uh, hope these cops let us go soon. Like I told them, I, I didn't see a land blubbing thing. Wasn't this guy in another one of the games? I really need to get back to my boat. Skipper will kill me if I don't scrub... I, I mean, if I get back to it and my cabin boy hasn't scrubbed the poop deck, I'll throttle him, I'll tell you what. <laughs> uh, I, I'm a captain, you know. I Because I think the person that made this is the same person that made Bloodwash and, um, what was that other one I played? Uh, that was like, it was something like Night of the Living Dead or something. It was like something, the name was very cliche like that. I And I swear I recognize this character. I think there's some crossovers. But Dex, I hope you've been well. Battlecat, I hope you've been well. Battlecat, I did, I can report. That I did see Fog Frog at PAX, not last week, the week before. I did see the Fog Frog as well as ShamWow uh, and a few of the others. Um, oh God, the names escape me. 
be a f I did see Fog Frog. I don't think we got a photo together though. I don't recall getting a photo with Frog, but we hung out a little bit. Big Mo don't like this one bit. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Big Mo. Cops crawling all over my business like ants to a goddamn picnic. Looks like I need to ditch the carnival game. Find something more peaceful, like a strip club or something. <laughs> Whatever makes you happy, Big Mo. Yes, I heard you calls because I have turbo, so no ads. But then I was on the other side of the house. We asked if I heard you. I heard that. <laughs> I've been really. I've. I recently got turbo as well, just because I can't afford to keep up with subbing to lots of people, and I and ads annoy me. So with turbo, I can just. There's just no ads across all. <laughs> I just, I gotta be careful, because I'm already bad enough with money. It was my best friend. He was ordering a soft pretzel for me. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing at that. He was ordering a soft pretzel for me. How could anyone do this to him? I don't know, man. He's never heard of flying. He was the nicest man I knew. I hope those cops catch whoever the psycho is. I just want to know why. <laughs> oh dear. Who the hell let you in? I don't know. I can't remember. None of these voice actors got paid. You're a diligent officer up front. Figures. Who are you? My name's Gail. I'm a journalism student at. <laughs> Great. A thorn in training. Yeah, so far, they're, they're good. Look, I had a friend. She was murdered last week. A model. Her name was Pam. She was shot in the face. Ring a bell? Yeah. I was at the scene. So then you don't need me to tell you that this is pretty similar, no? The only similarities were they were both shot, miss. Actually, this is very different. Your friend, I'm sorry to say, it was shot point blank. This guy was taken out clear across the carnival. Same caliber of bullet? Eh, maybe. It's a common one found in rifles. Detective, I think there's a killer on the loose, and I doubt this is the last we'll see of him. You can't just go around saying that. I mean, hell, we just wrapped up the Womb Ripper killings, and now you're saying that some maniac is running around the city with a rifle shooting random people. It's the same city as Bloodwash. Because it would be random, wouldn't it? Did you catch when I streamed Bloodwash Squid? Yeah, in Bloodwash there was the the Womb Ripper. So it's this it's the same It's the same universe. That's cool. Did your friend and this Mr. Richard Sanchez lying next to me have anything in common? I've got the VOD uh highlighted on my Twitch page and then also on my, uh, the secondary YouTube, if you're ever curious. It was, it was, a, it was a, I had fun. It was funny. Not that I'm aware of. No serial killer. End of story. <laughs> Unless you can find me proof otherwise. Stop! You violated the law. Pay the court a fine or serve your sentence. Your stolen goods are now forfeit. That's right. Dutch, you're under arrest for not believing about the serial killer. Now beat it. Go chase a story more on your level. Like why my asshole itches on Thursday nights. <laughs> God damn it, Dutch. Huh? 
What you trying to talk to me for? The guy in charge is over there. Man, I, I just I gotta talk to everyone in these games because you never know what you'll miss. I'm just here to collect my overtime. Can I talk to you? Oh God. Dear. Like, are we going to learn that the killer is just crazy and killing innocent people? Or are we going to learn that all the people that get killed are actually, like, horrible, like, bad people? It could go either way. <laughs> we talk to you. Oh. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Seeing Sahara back again will be great for you. And you, I remember you said how long it's been you've been waiting to see Coldplay. You know, sniper killer. You mean the guy behind these murders? East Seventh Street, two a.m. tonight. What do you know? We will see you then, Miss Jenkins. Oh no! They know her name. Oh my God! I have to see what this person knows. I have to do it for Pam. We got a lead. Where's Clyde? Excuse me, miss. Yeah? The name's Comedy. Detective Comedy. Comedy? I overheard your conversation with my colleague back there. I'm intrigued. About what? <laughs> Here's my card. Why are you telling me this? I doubt anything we say will keep you away. So, might as well keep in contact with you. If you really do end up finding anything you think we should know about, don't hesitate to call us. All right, I will. Thanks, detective. The police are very understanding. You do anything good, Clyde? Well, looks like you didn't get arrested, so that's good. Hey, you look like you've just seen a ghost. What's up? I saw two. Are you up for a little ride? Well, considering you're in my van... Yeah, I guess so. Good. I think I might have our first lead. Ooh. Oh. So, this is where they told you to meet them? Yeah. Seems suspect to me. Well, what else am I supposed to do? Not let strange people lure you to a perfect place to be murdered? <laughs> go shoot some footage or something. I'll give them ten minutes. Yeah, Clyde, go get some B-roll or something. If no one shows up, we leave. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Damn. Why is it always so foggy in this city? So who do you think this killer is, anyway? What do you mean? Now, uh, Clyde will be fine. Not nothing's gonna happen to Clyde. Nothing, nothing's gonna like, happen to Clyde. What's his deal? Shooting people for no reason? I wonder what his origin story is Jesus Clyde he's not a comic yeah, Clyde. character like maybe he's an ex-marine who snapped or maybe a hunter who got tired of hunting animals and has turned to I'm done with this conversation yeah Clyde
Yeah, get to work, Clyde. I'm gonna drive away in your van. Gail, behind you! <laughs> Got you good. You jumpy. Hilarious. When your journalism career fails, you should take up comedy. Yo, Liam. Hey, gone, man. I see some Age of Empires maybe happening soon. Good. Keen as a bean. Dude, I'm good. I'm just. I'm just still so tired. I'm just so drained. Clyde, what's the beeping? Like, PAX and South by Southwest back to back was like, that was like 10 days. 10 days in a row. I don't, I don't understand what. I can't, I can't go that way. Is there like a, it sounds like, like I've got a walkie talkie or something on me. Dude, so, so keen for more Age of Empires. Also, also, Liam, before I went, before I left for PAX, I was making my way through the training uh, for Armor Reforger to reacquaint myself. And I think I got like halfway through. So um, I'm going to keep working on that. And then, and then I'll be ready for a session sometime of Armor. Really keen for some of that. Very keen. Um... Also, before I forget, I think it was you and Fred that recommended It's Only Money, right? That new game from New Zealand. I got that because I remember you guys rec recommended it. Um, I don't know what's in store for it, but if there's multiplayer or anything, would be happy to play that with, with you guys if, um, if there's co-op or something. Um, cause I, I just did like the, the first bit, like the tutorial and I was like, this is like GTA. I'm down. Sounds good. Sounds good. That would mean Fred for sure. Oh, like I went, I went, like I went to the indie game section at South by and there's so many games I already like, had an idea of just cause I've seen Fred talk, like talk about them or tweet about them. I'm like, I, I already know what to expect. It was great. So cool. I don't know what that beeping is. All right, it's not down there. It's not the door. It's not Clyde. It's not the van. Oh, oh, it is a walkie-talkie. You're right, mate. Hello. Is someone there? Crimes against pizza men up 75% from last year. Interesting. Hey Gail, you have a handkerchief. Mind wiping this smudge off my lens? Sure, I got it. Getting a phone call from someone referring to a sniper killer when you know of two people that have been shot with a rifle and then waiting out on a street at 2 a.m. is probably not the best idea.
Oh my god. Whoa! Go, go, go! Oh no. Oh god, hurry! Shit, shit, shit! Oh my god. Come on! Go! Oh no, it's a dead end! He's gonna be waiting though. He's gonna be waiting. Or is he being called off? This is too much. I need to find a phone and call the police. They take forever to respond to anything in this city. I'll call that Detective Camardi. I still have his card. He seemed really serious. Detective Camardi? Who is this? The killer! He's here with me! I'm on East 7th on the subway platform! This is on your way. See you soon, Gail. Better tuck Bessie in and take a rest. Headquarters has me very busy lately. Gotta spray the bugs.
Take that. I can hear more of you. Oh, we're gonna spray a perimeter. <laughs> I was, I was very startled, Squid. Very startled. Bugs. Get out of here. Go find your own decomposing body in a freezer. You don't pay rent here. Be gone. Neighbor. Hello? Who are you? Well, now that's not very polite. I'm your neighbor, of course. It's Wilson from Home Improvement. But he's evil! Neighbor? I didn't see any other houses around here when I moved in. This is... Isn't this Tim Allen's neighbor? I live in those woods behind me. It's easy to miss. Okay. Alright, well, hello? <laughs> Say, neighbor. What you doing? It's brain bugs. A little yard maintenance. Oh, you get the ants too. And the worms. Gosh, how they like to invade our spaces. Slithering their filthy selves across our thresholds. It's good that you're putting a stop to that. Such invasive things. So impatient. Coming into our homes uninvited. It's not enough for them that they have claim to our very own flesh once we are placed in the soil for them. Well, listen to me go on and on in such a way. I'll saunter off back home. This is why I don't talk to my neighbors. Don't be a stranger, neighbor. I'll see you soon. Okay. Yeah, sure. Goodbye, Wilson. Uh -huh. Amen, Battle Cat. Amen. Okay, there's just some some strangers you meet, and you're like, "You're not one I wanted to meet. Please leave me alone." Hey, just checking in again. Still haven't heard from you, so just making sure you're okay. I think you really should call me back soon. I don't want to. Hey, just, just still. Oh, it's you again. Really... Just one message. Well, don't. That's enough of that. I don't want to go in there. Well, I don't know where the bedroom is. I, I can't go in there. Not now. Jeez. Oh, hello. Agent, agent, are you there? Sure am. Go, go for Papa Palpatine. We have a mission of the utmost importance. You will have two targets this time, in two different locations. You are the only one who can handle this. Start on Arthur Avenue, and wait for the instructions. Oh, an agent. Thank you for your service. No worries, I guess? Man, this guy, he's like, he go, he kills someone, comes home, he's like, Oh, I'd really love to, really love to chill out. And then straight away, it's like, nah. Back we go. We got another one for you. Finally, 
Almost home. Can't wait to get off these filthy streets and into a nice hot shower. Who's talking? They can't tear down this godforsaken neighborhood fast enough. Or is that, or am I Tiffany? Evening, Miss Tiff. Oh, I'm Tiffany now. I'll escort you to your apartment if you don't mind. Not at all, Dave. I enjoy your company. Thank you, Dave. I suppose you're reading about that dreadful sniper killer. Nope, just the funnies, ma'am. I try not to worry about it. I doubt that psychopath would try anything around an up-and-coming neighborhood such as this. All the killings have been on the loathsome side of town. Yeah, I've heard some talk about that crackpot. You don't have anything to worry about though, ma'am. Yeah, I should have been a comedian. But honestly though, Miss Tiffany, serial killers usually like to stay in the real dark and seedy areas. Pick off the poor and lonely so no one gives a shit. You know? He ain't coming around here. I know his type. Oh? You hang around many a serial killer in your time. Hey, hey, you never know. Why, I could be a serial killer myself, ma'am. The unassuming polite doorman in an upscale complex. No one would suspect a thing while I carefully bide my time. Just waiting to strike on an unsuspecting broad after spending time to earn her trust. Why, I'm... I'm a big man, and would wager that I would overpower her easily. Especially with the element of surprise on my side. Just waiting for a time and location with no one else around. Then, the second she casts her gaze away from me, just for a moment, in an instant, I would be behind her, and before she knew it... <gasps> no worries, Miss Tiffany. We scheduled an electrician to fix these damned outages. This has been happening all day. Gotta work out the kinks in these new buildings, huh? Yeah, I suppose so. Norman Dave's being a silly Three, goose, Bowcat. Two, one. No way a doorman earns enough to buy a gun. See, Miss Tiff? All is good in the world again. Thank you, Dorman Dave. Have a good night, miss. You too, Dorman Dave. Thought I'd never get back here. Shower time, finally. Shit. I need to check on my plans on the balcony. Jim got them on our anniversary and will kill me if I let them die. To the balcony! Please don't die, Dave. It's alright, we will protect Dorman Dave. Looking good. Oh. Oh no! Oh, 
Oh dear. Excellent shot, Agent. She won't be selling national secrets to the enemy any longer. However, there's been a new development in your mission, Agent. We have reports of another spy in the area, right around the corner from you. He was to meet her later tonight. Proceed upon the rooftops. Climb the water tower and we'll contact you with further information then. Please be quick, Agent. Local authorities will be swarming the area very soon. Oh my. Yo, Ariel. Yeah! Wait, like when the... When the shot connected, it was like... I don't know what I'm hearing! This is a lot! Very squishy. Viral Squishel. Squishel Browns! Icky Icky Goo! <laughs> How are you going? Did you... Did you enter that, um... Did you enter that Dead by Daylight thing? Did ya? I'm well, Ariel. I'm just very tired. You did? Ah! Oh, we might be on the same Survivor team. Or, I don't know, maybe you'll... Did you sign up for Survivor and Killer? I did both, just in case. But we might be on the same Survivor team. Or, maybe I'll be coming to get you as the clown. Also, Ariel, how much do you... Well, how much do you like Overwatch and... Would you consider yourself above average? Oh! We missed the mattress. Only did Survivor would be useless on Killer. Oh no, you watch, they're gonna, they're gonna... I'm gonna be your killer. You're damn right I'm gonna be playing as Clown. I can't... Have we played Overwatch, Ariel? Have we played Overwatch together? But yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm tired. Um, I'm tired. I'm wasted. Um, and like, PAX and South By were good. But I'm very annoyed that... Like, I got to hang out with a lot of friends. But then there were some friends like yourself and... And Steve and a bunch of others where I was like... I just assumed... I just assumed I'd be like, Oh, I'll see them on this night. Or I'll see them later. And then it was like, Oh no, now I'm in Sydney. Um... So, yeah, very, very sad I only got to bump into your, like, what, once? Um, yeah, I just, I couldn't go to the generosity after party. Because I had to get, I had a really early flight the next day. Yeah, yeah, it just didn't work out. So, I'm really sorry about that, Ariel. Um, my schedule was very busy. You love Overwatch, but you don't know where you rank? Right, I might keep you updated on something, just in case you're interested. Oh, you need to do the Sunday party just the Saturday? Oh, so that's annoying. I, I just, I assumed. I was like, oh, I'll run into them. They'll be at the thing. They'll be at the things. I will keep you updated um, when I learn more about the Overwatch thing. Um, yeah, very sad. Um, I don't think I'll, and I don't think I'll be in. Well, like I'm going to Melbourne. I'm going to Melbourne twice in December. I don't think I'll go back to Sydney this year. But with all the South by stuff and everything, there's a there's a there's a job I'm going to be applying for. And if I get it, I'll be moving to Sydney. I, I'm 90% I'm sure that that's where I would go. So... And I, and I already remember, I've, or, I already remember that I saw your, you post on Instagram that you went to like go see... Like, the Terminator and stuff at the cinema. So I know you like old movies and stuff. So if I move to Sydney, if I see any like retro movies, I'll be like, Ariel, do you want to go? So... I'm already... I'm already... I remember lots. Hello, desk clerk. 
Clock? Disc click? Clock? What are you, a dummy? Welcome to Glacier Peak Ski Resort. With the air yeah, okay. Have a nice night, sir. And the slopes are I hope so too. It's a, it'd be a very cool job. Yeah, out, out of, out of Pax and South by, I got leads for three jobs. At least three. So there's one. There's one I'm applying for soon, and then depending on how that goes, then I'll follow up the second one, and then if both of those don't go ahead, then I'll follow up the third one. Um. Yeah, and it's very it's a very clear like order of preference. Very clear order of preference. Love old films. And yes. Want to see Alien 1? But want to see it for the first time in a theater? Ah. Oh, yeah, that like I've already seen it, but yeah, seeing it in a theater would be like when I was back in my hometown, um my friends and I would go to yeah, whenever they would play old stuff like Blade Runner. We we were so always so pumped to do that. So yeah, I would be all for doing stuff like that. Um, oh, if I, oh, you have no idea. I really, I really want to, I really want to tell everyone, but I can't. Like, I don't want to jinx it. But if I get it, absolute madness. Um, so fingers, fingers crossed. Hey, asshole. Yo. You don't have a room here. Oh. So how about you back the fuck up before you get smacked the fuck up? Dig? Whoa! Fred Durst, calm down. Chill the fuck out, Limbiscuit. Fingers and toes. I've got a chance. It's not guaranteed, though. There will be some competition. You want a room or something? But I can't, like... What are you, a dummy? Yeah, okay. I can't, like, buy a room. Oh, we can go in the bathroom, though. Get out of me! Oh, Lord Jesus, guide this boy home. Um... <laughs> oh my god. Hey, someone there? Yo, thick. Hey, God, thanks for the phone. Huh? <laughs> what? Why? Why are we locking him in there? Okay, alright. Hey, what the fuck? I'm trapped like a rat! <laughs> I'm trapped like a rat! Help! Somebody get me out of here! Jeez. What now? Ah, so now she'll go check. Ah, wait, is there anything I can steal? No, I can't go there. What are these damn spam text messages, like surveys and that? Leave me alone. How did you vote in the voice referendum? What was that again? That was ages ago, wasn't it? <laughs> it's like, this is quite, quite the, quite the tangent squid. Oh yeah, this is where we fell down. So now we can climb the water tower. Oh. We have lost contact with Intel and only received partial information. Uh huh. Your target is Blue, hiding out as a member of the local gang. However, we don't know what he looks like. Okay. We only have his information to go off. He is not a smoker. He's not a smoker. <laughs> Headquarters. Do the thing. Like this is a very this is very different to the Deep Rock Galactic headquarters. <laughs> Wait, are you actually watching Pink Panther Battle Cat? However, he drinks 
drinks, have we? Doesn't smoke, drinks. He has already had dinner tonight. Already eaten. We trust you, Agent, to take this information and make the right choice. You must only eliminate the spy. No other casualties will be tolerated. Once complete, we suggest you jump to a passing train for a quick exit from the Oh, yeah, as you do. Yeah, with the job leads, like it was insane. Like, like, like last year, um, I was the stage manager of the second largest theater at the ICC for the conferences. Um, so that was Monday to Friday, full time hours. So I was I was working with the AV team, the front of house team, the um, catering team, essentially representing the South by Southwest staff on their behalf, and um, I would receive the guests, and then I would you know make it all happen um and just like last year it was very nice a lot of the guests like because i try to be professional in that role and like you know i'll i'll be like i'll, I'll introduce myself like hi i'm corbin and i'm the stage manager and, da, 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 and let's go do this let's go do that um but i'll sort of gauge it like if they don't sort of make it obvious i won't engage in small talk or have a laugh with them but like last year, a lot of them were like very quick to be like, oh, you've got such a wonderful voice. Do you do voice acting or do you vo do voiceover or something? And I was always like, yes, well, actually, well, it's a funny you mentioned. I do actually work in radio, blah, 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 which was interesting. Um, and some very, some very, um, some very uh, high tier guests even uh, said that, which was very interesting. I was like, it's very kind of him. Um, there were some very cool guests that came through. Like one, on one of the panels, we had Tim Minchin. Tim Minchin was there. Um, he nearly got away. Uh, when the panel ended, he was ready. He was ready to. He was ready to run up that hallway and get out. And I was like, "Hold on, Mr. Minchin. Steady on there. I'll get you out of here and do a good time, sir." Is this really a gang? Is this, is this just a bunch of kids? So he's not a smoker, he's eaten, and he's a heavy drinker. Well, he's got to be that one. Smiley face, the smiley face pizza gang. They're very dangerous. Well, it's got to be this one. Goodbye. Oh, I, oh, okay. <laughs> We got him, Anonymous. We got him. Hey, Hog. Number one assassin in the world. <laughs> Lucky you gave him a warning shot. Well, it's like I had it all lined up with the... Holding my breath. Like, but then I gotta, like, steer the bullet. But the camera angle doesn't help. <laughs> what the hell is this game? This is the latest, uh, like, horror game by these groups that do, like, um retro aesthetic spooky game so this one is a bit different where it's not as um it's not as in your face as the other ones this one you take you you sometimes you play as the killer which is a sniper and then sometimes you're playing as people following leads on it um which is really cool like, i'm it's really fascinating so far i'm um, i'm enjoying it I have to kill this guy. The voice on the two-way radio said so. Hold up, couple box. I, I I love checking out these games, Anonymous, by like Puppet Combo and Torture Star Video. They're they're interesting. They're different. How did I come across this game? I, uh, how did I? Um, last year. I think I was, I think some friends were telling me about them and then I kept seeing them on like Twitter and TikTok and stuff. All these like modern games made to look like they were from the PlayStation 1. And I really just find that fascinating. So then I went down the rabbit hole and a friend recommended Bloodwash, which was really fun. 
And then that led me into finding, you know, who are the devs that are like the ones to be keeping an eye out for. So uh, over the last year or two, I've been trying to play some at Halloween and then every now and then I'll play some more. Like, yeah, Blood Wash, uh, Stay Out of the House. Uh, I, think it was I think it was just like Night of the Living Dead. Um, there's a whole bunch you can find. And um, they're all done in this like retro scuffed way. It's, it's, I don't know. I have this weird obsession with it. I just, it's really fascinating. It's really fascinating. But yeah, this one came out last week by um, the person that made Blood Wash. And you can find there's some crossover with characters in the story, which is interesting. So, um, <laughs> I'm usually not a horror guy, but it's like, it's just the aesthetic. I really like, I just, I find it really creative. It's cool. It does open doors for indie devs. It's, um, I'll have to, I'll have to message all the deets, Ariel. It's, um, like there's a whole, it feels like there's a whole scene. It's interesting. I wouldn't mind checking out more D-makes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I did see some D-makes thick and I was like, I want more of that, like for real. And then I found this stuff. Um, I am still waiting to see, get more information, Hug, but I will keep you updated. You did Panda? You're going to see Coldplay twice? That's right, Ariel. Yeah, they're, they're not, there's no pressure to have, like, the best, like, lighting and snow effects and, and crap like that. They just, they just focused on making a unique game. Um, that's more about the story and the vibe and the, the mechanics. Like, there, there's no... There's, and it's and it's it's funny as well. Like they can lead into the comedy. Have you heard of a horror game called Sea of Thieves? It's terrifying bugs. Oh, it's it's terrifying. You go on and you're like, I'm just gonna, yeah, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go jump on a sloop with my dad and do some fishing, and then like these crack shot players will just hunt you down for no reason, just because they're 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 insane. I don't understand. Oh, Battle Cat, you have a lovely sleep. Thank you for thank you for stopping by and chatting. But oh, Ariel, yeah, I yeah, I I know too much about these damn games, but it's fascinating. It's fascinating stuff. Oh, Hug, I am so keen. I am so keen for Bad Omens and Poppy. I am so keen for that. And it worked out well, man. Like I was definitely thinking, like I was saying to Ariel before, it was such a shame that I wasn't able to hang out with you and her more at PAX, just because I just assumed we would bump into each other later when I should have checked. Um, but for Bad Omens Tour next year, the Sydney show doesn't work for me, the Melbourne show doesn't work for me, but the Brisbane show sits right in that sweet spot of the long weekend where I'm like, yeah, I can get to that and back without much issue with work. So I'm like, let's do it. Let's go up to Brisbane for a gig. Why not? For uni, as one of our major assignments, we have to organize and host a panel. Me and my group have been hearing nothing back in relation to securing guests. I just heard back from Sports Integrity Australia that we got someone available to come in. Nice, that would that would be less stress. Make sure you get, get squatting so you can put me on your shoulders. <laughs> oh God, I don't think I've ever, like even, um, even when I would take uh, girlfriends to gigs. Oh no, they never asked to go on my shoulders. But I never offered either. Oh no. Maybe that's why they're ex-girlfriends. Uh-oh. My bad. I never offered. You are asking. <laughs> well, she might see you Saturday night, but you're all target out for I know, Hark. I know. I know. I know. I'm really... I, I'm... I was like, when I saw you and Ariel at, at, in the audience, I was like, yay. I'll see... The, I will see them later. No. <laughs> now I just organized two more people, but yeah, even just having one so far is a huge weight of my shoulders. Uh, like, organizing this stuff for uni assignments, I do not miss that. Better pop me up for the best view in the house, pal. <laughs> Mate, it's at the river stage. You got the, you got the slope of the grass. 
it's a great like yeah if you're not like you're either you can you're either in the pit and you can see everything or or yeah you go up on the the slope and you can see everything never seen again ah uh, why well, I, I i i i thought or oh, on corpses shoulders it's just because i'm six foot isn't it why well, Hagen, Ariel, I thought you were both going to that karaoke thing. I thought you were both going to that. I, 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 I didn't double check. I thought you both said you were going. And I just, I was like, yeah, they'll be here. They'll be here. No, I didn't follow up. Because there's so many people. There's so many people, man. Was it on Friday or Saturday? I can't remember. I can't remember, man. I can't remember. But it makes me really sad. But yet, yeah, I will be hanging out with Hagalan in Brisbane in January. For we're gonna go, we're gonna go see Poppy and Bad Omens at the River Stage. And then Ariel, I will let you know. Like if, like let's say, if I do get that Sydney job, we're gonna go see retro movies. But then if I don't get the Sydney job. Next time I'm in Sydney, or the next thing like that, it'd be like, right, let's log it in. It was the Friday? I can't remember. I can't remember, man. It was, that was ages ago. <laughs> but I hope you both know, I sincerely really wanted to see both of you. I was... If it seemed like I was ignoring you or avoiding you, 100% not that way at all. I was really looking forward to hanging out with you both. Um, I should have followed up. I sincerely mean that. I was a bit of a busy boy. I'm a bad busy boy. You're doing a shoe. Doing shoes. It's not that bad. You just you just go to your, you go to your, you go to your happy place. Oh God. Well, this is this is one of our recent kills, actor. Um, oh god. What's with all the what's with the eyeballs popping? Oh, he's like, don't forget your pizza. Real shame. Why Isn't does the it? paramedic have a pizza? I was on my lunch break, and the pizza was delicious. Oh, of course. I don't think she gets the- I don't think she's aware of that meme hug. I don't think she's aware of that meme. There's no rush, she did. Now it's all cold and soggy. Yeah. A real freaking tragedy if you ask me. She's probably read it like- Shelby probably read it like, Core 8? What? What does that mean? <laughs> so grim. You wouldn't happen to know anyone in Mel's that could come into a uni panel talking about drugs in sport? Um. It feels like you know a lot of people. I. I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I, I'm doing half the time. <laughs> um, uh, let me... There's one person I can think of. But I, I don't think they live in Melbourne. But let me... Let me take a look. And if they are... And if they are Melbourne based, I can message a mutual friend and see what they say. Um, check. Uh, check about Olympic swimmer. Because, yeah, when I... When I was at, up in Sydney for South by Southwest last year and I went to go do a cool thing, I met... Um, there just happened to be there an Olympic gold medalist. <laughs> so random. Like, what? Well, yeah, sure, Corbs. Whatever, Corbs, whatever you- Yeah, alright, buddy. There was, there was a- In the- In the- In the- I was in the car with him! 
There's like, there was like, important people getting a tour. There was some person in, I think, media. There was Olympic gold medalist guy. And then Corbs. <laughs> and then we got a lift to the thing. So I'll follow up. I'll follow up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that is, Steve. I don't know shit about sport. I don't know what I'm doing. Dutch. It's real fucked comedy. We got two stiffs. Absolutely no connections between Oh, am I them. comedy now? Our sniper is just playing eeny, meeny, miny, mo. it seems. We're comedy now. <laughs> Your comedy? And I'm comedy? We're all comedy. <laughs> uh, that's the ice skater that won gold at the Winchelieu Mixer after everyone else in the race fell over. <laughs> Two races in a row. <laughs> Seems that way. That's funny. One was a woman from this new high rise, and the other was some guy in that face shot street gang. He picked that girl clean off her balcony. And the gang member was around the corner on the basketball court. Yep, I wager we won't find any connections to die together a motive. Do we know which rooftop the psycho was on? That's a big negative. All right, I'm gonna what if take Dutch a look the around killer? the scenes. I'll start with the high rise. What if Dutch is the killer? No worries, man. I will... I'll take a look at their socials and and see if I can get an idea of where they live. And then if they're in Melbourne, yeah, I can politely ask our mutual friend. Uh, can't guarantee anything. You've got a full so probably, cooperation. The they might be busy, but... On the fifth floor if you go up there. You never know. got it taped off. Dorman, Dorman Dan, Dorman Dave. I I just saw her twenty minutes ago. Oh, Dorman Dave. Did you notice anyone peculiar around tonight? Now her brains are all over the goddamn pavement. I I need to wash them off. Wash them off the pavement. It's it's supposed to be a clean area. I'm sorry, Dorman Dave. As the main thing is Dorman Dave is all right. He just needs he just needs some time off. That's right. Yeah, worst thing they can say is like, "Sorry, I'm busy," or "I can't do it." No, no problemo. Oh, what if the is there someone hiding in here? Oh, Whoops, excuse me, sir. Officer Callahan, <laughs> never contact me again. Looks like we're all good here. Nice pad, huh? If you're into having your home not feel like a home. How profound. Profound, is that the right word to use? Hey, there's a pizza. Maybe we'll find out it's like a pizza cult. Yikes. The shot certainly came from across the street, judging from the splatter. That brick building right across the street has a pretty clear shot to this balcony. Looks like it's got plenty of rooftop access too. I better jog on to the second crime scene down the street and see if I can confirm my suspicions. Shit. I hate these large crime scenes. My feet aren't what they used to be. Oh my god, tell me about it. I hate my feet. Papa John is the murderer. Because <laughs> if there's anything, like, if we're going off the other games this group has made, have made, um, 
There might be some shenanigans. Ugh, oh, piece of junk. Do 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 do. Oh, you got a hot dog now, do you, mate? Poor girl. Almost got it cleaned up over here. Why don't you head down to the street there to the other scene? There were a few jokers hanging out and one got iced. So this down here, is it? You gonna make chili dogs this weekend? Yum. I really, um... Over the last month or two, I've been obsessed with making homemade pizzas. It makes me happy. Oh. Oh, like, sometimes I'll get Pizza Hut just because I find their, like, cheese pizza and their pepperonis better. Like, Domino's, Domino's is so bad compared to how it used to be. But, like, Pizza Hut, at least some of the pizzas, you know, it's like, yeah, this is all right. It's like, well, I just want a good, just want a good pizza place. Like, I, I remember, like, some really good ones in my hometown, but it's just nothing competes, man. Domino's got a huge market share and overtook Pizza Hut when Pizza Hut was a king for years. Oh, yeah. Like, I remember, like, I, I don't know, maybe it was because I was a teenager and at uni and it was at parties, but I remember Domino's being way better. Yeah, just Pizza Hut, like, it's not amazing, but at least it's like, you get what you're paying for. And you at least feel like it's, you know, all right. But like Domino's, you get it. It's so small and it's like, it's so shit, dude. It's so bad. I'm, I, I, does, does anyone remember Eagle Boy's Pizza? Oh, it, yeah. If you want a half decent pizza, you're paying so much extra and it's not even that, it's not even worth it. It's, it's, yeah, it's just, it's not, it's just not the same, man. Hey, look who finally decided to grace us with his presence. You didn't like Eagle Boys? Well, I only had it when I was a kid, so that's the only memory I'm going off. Oh, really, Squid? Oh, because of the phone book. Can it, Chris? I'm not in the mood for your shit lips tonight. Oh, yeah, the old man's cranky. I can't get heads or tails out of these two. If it'd be up to me, I'd rule it a suicide and call it a day. And what's really depressing is... Um... Where I stayed for South by Southwest... And where we stayed for the Nintendo event earlier in the year for work... In Piermont... You know, near, in the harbour... The, in the harbour area of Sydney... There's, there's an American pizza place that I really like. Which does like New York style pizza. Like you get like the Brooklyn or... You know, like, oh, it's really good. Like, so of course, the pizza place I really enjoy in recent years is in Sydney. And I'm like, I'm rarely ever there. And like, and it's not like, well, it's like once or twice a year of that, that I'm like there for work. And it's the only time I can have it. A regular Colombo over here. Move over and let a real cop get to work. Yo, what's up, freak? <laughs> hey, Jackie. Looks like you're all in the middle of something I should know about. Any enemies? You know damn well we're out here chilling all day. 
We're lovers, not fighters. We squash beef in the sheets, not the streets. Okay. Well, that doesn't seem to be the case tonight. Don't act like you don't know who is behind this. It's that sniper killer, right? <laughs> yeah, looks to be that way. Just trying to cover all the bases. Well, you need to stop trying to cover the bases and start hitting some home runs, Dig. You gotta find out who did this. Look at poor Robert over there. Dante <laughs> and him were brothers. Came up in the same home and everything. Yo, crude. This is Sniper Killer. The new horror game from his Torture Star video. It's scuffed, but good. Yeah, I notice him. Look. Hey, go on, crude. Did you to see where the killer was at? Oh, crude. Because I didn't get to see it, Pax. Pax was a very short, busy time for me this year. But I'm coming down to Melbourne probably two more times this year. I'm coming down at the start of December to go to the Good Things Festival for a mate's birthday. Um, and then I'm com I should be coming down again um, for the Christmas to New Year's break and a little... And like a few days into the new year so i'm basically essentially i'm hitting up a bunch of friends um i've been working through some today and yesterday been meaning to get around to you um i'm looking for you know primarily if anyone wants to hang out you know do something one night or go get lunch go get brunch breakfast go see a movie show me something good about melbourne whatever but also if anyone would be willing to have me crash for a night or two or whatever but because it's the christmas time christmas and new year's time like i totally get it if people can't um and i've already got um i think i've already got someone's house lined up to be staying at uh around new year's uh another per and then another two or three that might be happy to have me here and there so um but yeah, but at the very least, we'd just love to catch up with a bunch of people. Um, I will keep you in the loop. I hope they mentioned the sniper. The sniper kind of sucked. He missed it first. He doesn't understand the mechanics of the game. No, I wasn't looking. Robert probably saw. He was standing right next to Dante. Oh, that's fine. The hugs here, they didn't, they didn't see my bad shot. Well, Robert seems to be uh, too grief-stricken to articulate. Maybe try and tell him you need him to cooperate so you can nail this fool. Robert's gonna want justice for Dante. All right. Keep your nose clean. You all right, mate? Robert, I know you're distressed, but listen to me. I need you to pull yourself together for one minute so I can get some info. You need to do it for Dante. Keep your nose clean. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, can you just tell me where the assailant was located? I'm over here. Yeah, I, uh, I saw the guy. I couldn't make out his face, but he was on that rooftop of that brick building on top of the water tower. How the fuck did you, could you make out his face from down here? While you're eating pizza and smoking and drinking, yeah, you're a liar, Robert. You're a liar! That motherfucker has to be crazy. Son of a bitch. Alright, thanks for your confirmation. We'll nail this guy. I promise. Hang in there, Robert. Back we go. Is anyone, like, is anyone, like, gonna keep an eye on this body? Like, just so, just some random doesn't come up and just wheel this away? Like, is that, is it, am I asking too much to have a little bit of professionalism? Where are the paramedics? No worries, mate. Good to see you. And I'll definitely keep you in the loop. It'd be great to see you in December. The sky is blue. 
Excuse me, miss. Have you seen anyone suspicious coming here over the last uh, hour or so? We have strong reason to believe there was a shooter on your rooftop. I mean, everyone who comes in here is suspicious. You've got druggies, tramps, freaks and geeks. Then do you mind if I have a look around then? It's a motel, so be my guest. It's... Good lord. There's an unholy stench coming from the other side. And it's not of the dead body kind. Though so I'm not sure how you could survive after spawning something so foul. Oh my god. I should look around this lobby before continuing on. Okay. Alright. I don't know. Ah. Look at that. A camera. Would be pretty lucky if it actually records. I doubt it. Might as well ask. Hey, yo. I just noticed you have a security camera. Any chance it actually works? Last I checked. Would you mind to pull me footage from the last uh, hour or so? Ugh, I don't know. I'm pretty busy here, guy. Look, this is me, asking nicely. Don't make me ask not so nicely. Why is there no voiceover for that line? Be a good little citizen, perform the most likely single civic duty you have ever done in your life, and get me that footage now. All right, fine. Calm down, Kolchak. Wouldn't want you to blow off all that steam before going home to your wife, would we? I'm going up to the roof, and when I come back down, I'll pick it up. Thank you for your cooperation. It's some kind of dangerous freak. It's... I don't think he's gonna come down from that rooftop. Hello. Hey, pig. Hey! Some of us are trying to get some beauty sleep here. Yeah, and you'll need a lot of it, toots. <laughs> you going to find this creep or what? Hey, I'm... What was that? I'm working here. Say, did you see anyone, uh, strange come by this way? Yes, I saw a strange man. Once upon a time. Oh, okay. I was finishing my shower. I smelled a fragrant eucalyptus and mint. My body fresh, reborn and new for the world. Emerged from the shower, and that's when I saw him. A tall man with black eyes, with white voids in the middle, smiling at me, standing in the corner of the room. Okay, I think I heard enough. I dropped my towel in horror, exposing myself to this thing. It laughed at me, then it crawled up my wall and into the vents. It brings to my mind the fateful night my love left me in the same exact way. I believe the man represented my most darkest moment, manifested to mock me one last time. Alright. Well, good luck with that, buddy. <laughs> Alright, good luck with that, buddy. Also, no offense, you don't smell like mint. You smell like trash, friend. <laughs> I don't think so, Tim. <laughs> Ah, yes. You just reminded me. I don't have a shower. How peculiar. Alrighty. Hey, little fella. Like, I wonder if we've met the sniper killer yet. Interested to see... What twists there are. Oh! Well, look at that. Certainly confirms he was up here. Better take this to the boys at the lab. Take it down to the lab. Time to get down from this godforsaken thing. Yo, comedy! Fucking hell! 
Jesus, how can someone as big as you have such soft feet? I used to be a dancer back in college. It was my dream until I shattered my big toe in an arm wrestling contest. What? I got something for you. Let's get off this thing first before it collapses. What? The girl downstairs gave me this. She said the quality is shit, but it's that she didn't get it to you that you said you'd beat the daylights out of her and throw her in jail. Uh huh. I guess that's one way to interpret what I said. All right, let's get that tape back to the station. Something about this whole thing is giving me the real heebie-jeebies. Yep, I know what you mean. Nothing's ever normal in this goddamn city. These murders are getting out of hand. Time to review this evidence and see if there are any connections. If we can establish some, then it will greatly increase our chances of identifying and locating the sicko. A few days after the carnival, our sniper struck again. This time, taking out two individuals. A woman living in the new high-rise apartments and a local gangbanger. Of course, like all the victims before, seemingly no relation and completely random. Put it in the bin. I don't understand what he wants me to do with this. Damn it. I'll have to send this to the lab and see if they can clean this footage up. Oh, good call. Ah, oh, we're gonna like do a little chart. That's cool. We found this shred from a jacket on the outer wall around a carnival. We're not a hundred percent certain, but we feel like this could belong to the killer, as we're pretty sure he snuck into the carnival. The ticket booth up front didn't see anyone suspicious enter. The murder at the carnival. This one, at least to me, really suggests that our killer could have had prior training. Could be self-taught, but my gut tells me that's not the case. Ex-special forces, maybe. Huh. These latest murders tonight. A young woman on her way up the corporate ladder was picked off from her apartment balcony. And just a few moments later, a member of a local street gang gets iced. Now these three are connected. Gail and her cameraman, uh, Clyde, were snooping around after the murder of their friend. My best guess is the killer got wind of it and decided to take them out. Here's what we know. The killer is a spectacular shot, almost uncanny. Perhaps we need to be on the lookout for an ex-military bozo. While the people are random, perhaps the locations aren't. 
It's all been in the inner city. We'll have to increase patrols in the area and pray to God we find this maniac. On it, disembod disembodied voice that is definitely real. We can't give those commie bastards a reason to retaliate against us in other ways. Well, you must make your main target look like an accident. Any person getting in your way may be eliminated how you see fit. That is how important this mission is. This is for the greater good. Oh, and one last thing, Agent. Something for you. Open the box in front of you. It's a suppressor. It will be automatically equipped to your rifle. Targets will be unable to hear your shots. Miss something. I can't see. Oh, there's a people here. There's no way I can get to the door without being spotted. I'm going to have to take them out. This mission is too important to risk being seen. Looks like there's an alarm panel on that wall. I'll need to be careful and make sure to eliminate them one by one without the others noticing. Geez, they're really moving, aren't they? Bing bada boom. I think it was just the two. I can't risk climbing down. Okay. Oh. Where's my pizza?
need to make it look like an accident. So we can't just... Jesus. Is he actually a KGB spy? This is getting more out of hand than I could imagine. Jeez. <laughs> it's the fifth. Jeez. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I've I've got a feeling we're gonna learn that that guy wasn't actually a KGB agent. Hey. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Three security guards all shot dead. This sniper's getting bolder by the night, partner. Yeah, it looks like it. I'm not liking where all this is heading. Can you give me a rundown of the scene? Well, we just pulled these three newly deads out of the factory. Looks like the killer snuck in through a side entrance, but there's so much shit over there, we had to pull the ambulance around to this side. We've already scrubbed the inside for clues and turned up emptier than an asshole two hours after burrito night. <laughs> Not sure what else you could look for around here. Anything else I should know about? Hey, unrelated, but around the corner there, it seems some bum had a barrel of flames fall over on him. Burnt as bad as the toast my wife makes for breakfast. <laughs> huh. Hell of a coincidence, wouldn't you say? Hey, you're the man in charge. Officer Chris is wrapping that scene up. Just head down that alley to the right. He's behind the factory. Okay. I think I'll do just that. Jesus Christ! Hey, hey! So, Zobi Wan, Kenobi. Coleman Dallas, Bobby Pass. Hello, Zobi. How are you? Oh, I gotta show you. I gotta show you something. Hold on, let me go grab it. Let me go grab it. Gotta show you. Hello there. General Kenobi. I just gotta make sure I um I don't dox myself. Hello there. General Zobi! General B General Kenobi! Oh no, the cable! Cable's getting stuck on. Oh, wrong way. Whoop. Whoop. There we go. Check this out. So, Zobi is one of my new friends I made while working at South by Southwest this year. And um, I was having a um, some challenges through the week. Um, and so she had some free time. Um, she had some free time down in one of the computer labs and made me an actual multi-pass like legit like an actual multi-pass based on how they look in the movie like one of like one of the most thoughtful coolest gifts someone's ever made for me how cool is that like so now i've got it i've got it with all my other prize possessions it's so good i was literally working on a better quality one non-doxing open twitch to steal your logo and i find you here <gasps> Oh, you're already making the new version. You truly are a meat popsicle.
No, but for real, Zobi one is is great. Uh, let me. Um, she's super funny. Was great to hang out with, uh, and she streams on Twitch as well. She streams on Twitch as well. Uh, she does a lot of like GeoGuessr and some um, unique things. So um, it was a pleasure hanging out with her, and I look forward to hanging out again in the future. Um, so if you're curious, go check out her channel because uh, I will be doing. I will be checking out her channel when I get a chance as well. Um, So good. No, I, I love, I love, like, I, like when you're like, I've got a present for you. I was like, what, you got, what, you got a mask bar for me? Or something, but no, legit, like, make, actually makes a multi-pass. Like, may, it was so cool. So cool. But how, how are you, Zobi? How are you going? We're, we're working our way through Sniper Killer, which is interesting. It was wonderful. It was wonderful. I, I, I'm so sad that, like, like I, it was just so good hanging out with so many friends, like hanging out with old friends, like Anna and Sarah and that, and then and then making new friends. But then it's really sad when it's over. It's really, it's really rough. Like it's been nice to come home and have some quiet time and um, sleep. But I'm like, I miss seeing everyone. I really miss seeing everyone. Um, yeah. So yeah. Um, See, so yeah, when I'm in Brisbane, I will definitely, I'll definitely keep you updated. Because um, I should have a little bit of free time when I'm up in January. And um, yeah, if you're free, well, let's go do something. Oh, it was, it, and then it was really great to have like everyone stay, like ten people staying in the one house, and then like you and and that coming to crash. <sighs> so yeah, next time, next time you gotta stay with us. Next time you gotta bags a room, and then we can um, and then we can make everyone watch Star Wars every night. See so next year, god damn it, you're staying at the you're staying at the group house with us, Zobi. <laughs> Sir, did you see who did this to you? Oh, I'm, I'll be checking. I'll be checking. Yes, yes, saw him. I want all my favorites. Like? Please tell us. I want us. all my favorites in the one spot. So this guy gets shot in the face, and he's waking up in a body bag. She says you do. No face. Now, now it's just a blur. <laughs> God damn it. I am a meat popsicle. <laughs> like, oh no. Oh no, he's dead. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is ridiculous. When he when are you um when are you streaming next, Zobi? Oh, if I had my if I had it my way, we'd have like all the best emissaries get together, like at least once a month to do a cool job somewhere in the in the in the country. Um, probably tomorrow. Tomorrow, I've got like yeah, I finish work at like five five thirty, and then. I've got a work dinner on. We've got a work dinner on from 6 or 6.30 for a couple of hours. But then... But I don't think I'm going to be out at it very late. So I will try and catch what's left of your stream tomorrow after the dinner. I'll keep it in mind. Officer Callahan, what's uh, the sitch? Of course shit hits the fan two weeks away from my retirement. <laughs> what? Of course, we got it. Two weeks away from retirement. Hang in there, buddy. He doesn't even look that old. Or is he? Oh, he's over the job. But no, I'm definitely. I'm. I guess I'm glad that I am so tired from 
doing PAX in South by that, like, I haven't really had the strength to feel the post convention blues because I'm just like, I need sleep and I got to go to work. Um, no, no, I, so yeah, I'm like, I want to, I want to, I want to see your streams now. I want to see your streams now. And yeah, definitely let me know. Is that the Blues Brothers? That's concerning. I don't like that. But yeah, definitely let me know if you ever want to play some Phasmophobia or something. Just let me know. Let's play some games. Volunteering at a voting booth on Saturday to keep busy? Look at you. Working hard. But yeah, I, I do foresee... And um, it looks like, so when I'm up in Brisbane for the gig, um, I didn't realize that the gig is on the sat like it's on the Saturday night and then it's during the Saturday that they do the Triple J Hottest 100. So I might be going to my friend's house in the s that lives near the city um, to, you know, go hang out in the pool and um, do that. And I'm going to see if I can bring some friends. So, um, I'll keep you updated. I'm, I'm, lo I'm looking forward to seeing some Zobi One Kenobi GeoGuessr streams. Like, Mr. Phenom, she can legit name, I think, I'm pretty sure it's every flag. She can name every flag. Um... And she showed me, like, literally, at South By, she whips out, like, this app with all the flags, and she's like, that, 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 that. And I'm like, oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. Like, there's another pizza box. I'll keep you updated. If not, I should be free on the Sunday. Um, because I won't have to fly back home until the Monday. Maybe even the Tuesday. So, and you never know, I might be able to arrive like a day in advance. So I might be free on Friday night or something. So, but yeah, I will keep you in the loop. I will keep you in the loop. Don't you worry about that. Hey, it's Anakin. He's, there he is. He's still alive. Get a medical capsule immediately. <laughs> There's some Star Wars for you, Zobi. Damn thing won't light. What? Are you serious? Yo, my brother Anakin. And this and this is Obi Wan trying to light his cigarette on Anakin's corpse, like burning corpse. Like, I hate you. Hold still, Anakin. I'm trying to light my cigarette. What? He don't mind. One for the road, Anakin. <laughs> I'm gonna assume I'm very, you didn't look around I'm, the area for any evidence. I'm very stressed, Anakin. I need I just need to light a cigarette evidence off your leg what? real quick. Any two bit sleuth can tell the guy burnt to death when this barrel fell over. <laughs> Getting real tired of your oh, shit. Oh, Mr. Phenom. Watch if, it. Or you'll piss me off one day. If you need someone to be recognizing flags and and also someone for Star Wars because I'm sick, you call Zobi One Kenobi. Well, the scene is all yours. Help yourself and look around. Don't catch a cold now. My goodness, this is a bit grim. It's such a shame, Zobi, because um when I lived in Brisbane, I hosted trivia every Tuesday night at the uh, the Pig and Whistle in Indrapilly. I hosted there for like a couple of years. I was the oh yeah I every Tuesday night I was there hosting trivia, and on and they started including uh, Star Wars trivia on the week of May fourth. And I remember we had people dress up and we would give a prize out for best dress and that. It was great. And I brought my Darth Vader helmet. So I'm sitting there hosting. I got my Vader helmet on. It was great fun. But I'm not there anymore. 
I I love yeah. I want to do I want to do more Star Wars trivia, but there's no one to do it with here. <laughs> the Gibbons. What the Gibbons? The what? Oh yeah. Looks like people make some sort of offerings here. The the what the gibbons? The monkeys I was talking about. Do a joint Star Wars trivia stream on May 4 next year. Oh Gotta also gotta keep an eye out for Um Gotta keep an eye out for because, uh, Zobi, you said you haven't played many Star Wars games, have you? Um, Got to keep an eye out for when the new Star Wars Battlefront 2 is on special. Which, if it's not on special around Christmas or, you know, the winter special, it should be super cheap in May next year. That's a, that's a really fun game to play. And then we could do the co-op mode, which is really good. Really fun. I'm not superstitious, but I feel like there's a great power emanating from this board. And I think I'm still- Oh, look! Hold on, good good point, Mr. Phenom. Check this out. I've still got... I forgot I was including this as, like, redemptions on the stream. I've still got my, um... I've still got my Star Wars trivia box. So it's... We went through a bunch. Yeah, I still got a bunch of, um... Trivia cards, like there's still so many there ready to go. So I've got the car I've got the questions. I've got the goods. I've got it. It's it's been sitting there collecting dust for like a year. Awkward. Just an old metal lockbox. It's an old, dull, rusty butcher's knife. Air freshener. Maybe it has some kind of ritualistic significance. Or maybe whoever owns this place is five cans short of a six pack. Ooh. Oh, you got a Star Wars trivia book? And you do points redeem for his Oh look, great minds think alike. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to save some points for that. Love it. Love it. I feel safe. I, I feel really comfortable in this building. I don't think anything bad is going to happen. Hopefully no one's home. An old radio. Sounds like it's having some interference problems. Anyone home? Hmm. Some service. The candles are a nice touch. Cozy. Nice chair. I can appreciate a fine chair. Okay. Sealed envelope. It's a sealed envelope from Peepaw. Wasn't that a character in one of the other games? Looks like it's for recording sales. This joint actually gets customers. Oh. Oh, no, we can't go through. Books. A bunch of books. All of them have to do with the occult in some way or the other. Same thing. Um, a bottle of brown liquid. It stinks. <laughs> a jar with something preserved inside. A well done macabre. Macabre? Macabre painting? Is he still trying to light his cigarette out there? And my voice. <laughs> what the hell were you doing in there? My apologies. Was on my den. Hell of a spot to take a break. No place better to hear yourself think than inside a coffin. Right. Quite a place you've got here. Luckily for you, I'm not with the city board. I'm Detective Comardy. Pleased to meet you, Detective Comardy. 
They call me Magic Man Mon. Did you know that just 20 feet outside your door, a man was burnt to death? Ah, I thought the alleyway smelled of something cooking. Surely you must have seen something. Anything weird. Well, whatever would be considered weird around a place like this. I'm sorry to say that I don't see much of anything these days, Detective. Oh, uh... Sorry. Oh. If you don't mind me being so blunt, you seem to get around well for a blind guy. The spirits guide me along the path I should be traversing. I see. Well, this was all very productive and helpful. I guess I'll just fuck right off then. Oh no, so we... So in this, Mr. Phenom, you... You take turns, you alternate between playing as the killer, which is different compared to the other games, which is a sniper, and then after every murder, you come back as, like, someone investigating. So as the sniper, we we assassinated them, but we had to make it look like an accident. So we shot uh, a sign to make it fall down, which knocked over a, a flaming barrel light him on fire, which was a, it was a bit grisly. It was a little grisly. Oh. Oh, I thought he was getting back inside the coffin. Huh. Detective? You might want to comb over your barbecue scene one more time. You should be keeping an eye out for the sign. Sign? What kind of sign am I looking for? The sign, Detective. The sign. Oh no, that's all right. It's been it's been interesting. As you probably guessed, this is made by um, one of those developers I've played some of the other games of early this year and last year. It's, um, there's some crossover with the other games, which is interesting. Just, despite giving us a bit of a bit of a a bit of a scare, Zobi, he certainly was a a helpful chap. Damn thing won't light. Are you sick? Oh, same I'm thing. Get it. Well, the blah, 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 blah. Shut up, Chris. So I reckon it's going to do it. Something to do with the pizzas. We're looking for... Looks like this fell off the building. Oh, literally the sign. that's what knocked the barrel over. Hey, wait a minute. Is that a bullet hole? Could our sniper have done this too? And if he did, why try and make it look like an accident after massacring those guards? Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. Maybe I can find where he posted up to take the shot and get my hands on some more clues. Because none of this is making any sense. It just doesn't make any goddamn sense, man. This city, my god. It's too high to reach. Easy. We got another shell. If he's a professional, why is he leaving shells? I'll be damned. The sniper killer was up here. I'll be damned. Well, yeah, am I going to pick it up, or am I just going to leave it there? Fuck, someone's in here. Oh. It's got to be him. Check your corners. Gotta check them corners. Left, right, up, down, behind. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. How many more stairs?
Oh, we're going in. We're breaching. Oh, fuck. Where are you? Oh, fuck off. I'll get fucked. Oh, oh fuck. God. Go fuck yourself. Oh! Die, you son of a bitch! It's a mannequin. Oh, fuck off! No! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Bruh. Just unloads like a whole magazine or something. It's just, it's, it's just a mannequin, guys. All good, man. All good. Oh, good. We all make mistakes. Oh, I don't like this. Bruh. Oh. What? In your defense, the mannequin did bleed a little. Yeah, I I thought I was might have been like a a boss battle or something, you know? Hey, stop hey. right there. Come back here, you Whoa! Crackheads! <laughs> Yo, Fog! Uh, frog! Sorry, man. Frog, how you doing, man? Who the f- You cool? It, it... It came out of the walls! I... I said it! No one listened! It's here! Bruh. Oh no! Sunshine. Where is this going? Oh, jeez. Where what? am I? Oh, what the fuck? How did I get here? I was taking my nightly stroll and found your face down in the gutter, Mr. Detective. The stress getting to you. You know, I have a remedy for that. No, I, uh... Something isn't right. This killer, these murders, the whole goddamn city. Something isn't right. You're telling me? I gotta get back to the station. Gotta put this lunatic away before he kills anyone else. Yeah, that's a good plan. 
Magic man. Why am I in a coffin? I don't own a couch. <laughs> I don't own a couch. I feel like I'm losing my mind here. What? I'm gonna need to start considering some out-of-the-box theories because this case is making less sense the more the bodies pile up. I got to lock your door, haha. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Dutch. Nasty son of a bitch. Thanks, Dutch. You son of a bitch. Why on earth try to make the murder in the alleyway look like an accident? Maybe this homeless guy was the main target. And the guards were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. One of the guards had some, uh, interesting things to say before he died. Said he saw the killer, but then all he could remember was that he had no face. Like it had been wiped clean. What? Probably the ramblings of someone on their last breaths. What? The shot came from a catwalk outside the factory. I could have sworn I was right on the killer's heels. And then, things got strange. Can't wait to try and explain this one to the chief. It just doesn't make sense. The ammo is similar enough that it's obviously the same guy. But why attempt to do things so drastically different if you're in his shoes? Why even attempt to make one of the murders look like an accident? I feel like the key to all of this is closer than I realize. Hmm. Where's it gonna go? Oh, I think we're back as the nut job. If you go into the woods today, trail oh damn i can't have these campers around they could jeopardize my mission i'll have to take them out oh no for the good of the country oh my god <laughs> what is this guy doing Look at the, look at the, they're just having a good time out here in the, the countryside. Oh dear. Well. You'll be swimming with the fishes. A survivor! Where are you going? the last of them that one nearly got away <laughs> it seems we're all getting shot by a sniper <laughs> ah! <laughs> we've got to get out of here but not too far 
They won't be interfering with my mission tonight. Okay. You must not. I repeat, you must not allow any of them to escape. All right. Take a good look around your surroundings before pulling the trigger. Well, I had good practice on the campers. I'm sure there are multiple favorable positions for you to take within the cemetery. Good luck, agent. Your country thanks you. Alrighty, let's uh, let's bloody let's go get in there, shall we? Let's uh let's uh let's get this show on the road. Yeah. Hey, how's everybody doing? I love a good cookout in the cemetery. School's out for forever. Oh no. Hey there. Just a bunch of drunk teenagers. Want a drink? What's up, bro? Not much. You look like you got some serious business to attend to. Well. I don't like your vibes, man. What'd I do, huh? I haven't done anything yet. Sorry. We didn't know anyone would be out here so late. Mark just asked me if I would marry him. Can you believe that? On the night of graduation. I just don't know. I have to think about it. What's up, bro? You look like you got some- I don't like your vibe. Or I talk to you, don't want to hear your nonsense again. No. No one in here. Hey, what you looking at, creep? Name's Blade, so you best stay out of my way, okay? I'm sorry, Blade. No. Alrighty. I was uh, picking up some blade energy. Definitely some blade energy going on. So we don't want any to escape. Do I just pop them through the... So I can't see shit through the... Oh, okay. I'm assuming I can shoot out the glass. Let's give it a go. <laughs> so far, so good. Wait for old mate to come back. Du -dun, du -dun. Ah. 
Hey, hey, Blade! The movie called... I was like... I've already committed to saying, hey, Blade! I'm like, oh, God! I was like... Oh. Oops. Oh, I fell down! <laughs> Alright, who have we got left? Uh, could everybody that's left alive please uh, put your hands up? We just need a, a head count real quick. I think we've just got a... Uh, Marshmallow A and Marshmallow B. It's very squishy. How many did they say there was all up? Eight? Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, brah. Where's this going? It's like, they're making out like, this is a bunch of agents and stuff, but it's just a bunch of teenagers, like... I smell a twist coming. M. Night Shyamalan is in the chat. Well, hello. It's the guy from Bloodwash! Visiting an old friend as well? Or perhaps you're... <laughs> Never mind. Oh, nice walkie. I'm certain you hear all sorts of interesting things through it. Ta! Goodbye! It's the guy from the train in Bloodwash. No, the bus. What is this? Water? Great, the shower is leaking again. I should have some tools in the shed outside. To the shed! It's tool time. Oh, that's new. Just a minor leak. Yeah. It's like, oh, well, that's a bit of a, that's a bit of inconvenience. Thanks for looking, Mr. Phenom. A little bit of a, a bit of a downer. Jesus Christ. That's going to knock my head off. Oh, yeah. Might need that later. Hello there, neighbor. Wilson. I see you. <laughs> what are you doing? What do you want? Oh. Uh. Not in a good mood, neighbor. I guess I wouldn't be either. Home repairs can Hello be there. a real pain <laughs> like... in the keister. Looks like you have it all under control, though. Fixing leaks? Aren't we all doing that day in and day out in a way? What'd you do to my shower, Wilson? Fixing leaks that have sprung in the whole of our lives. 
tightening the screws that keep our mind in place, replacing the rusted pipes feeding our hearts. Well, I'm not one to keep a man from his job. Wouldn't want to keep him waiting now, would we? <laughs> My water bill, man! It's... See ya, neighbor. Alright. Okay. Wilson, I don't want you coming around anymore. You need to stay on your side of the fence. Fix shower. Oh, there's someone at the door. There's someone at the door. For me? Is it Minecraft day already? Who could have left this here? Yeah, I gotta take that. Take it inside before Wilson's. Oh, hello? Hello? <laughs> Must have been a wrong number. Yes? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Oh! Ah! I didn't get to read the note! I didn't... Oh! Is this like, it's like, um, in... Zobie, it's like in Fifth Element, you know, the... When, um, Zorg calls Mr. Shadow, like... Ah, uh, I'll get the stones. You will get the st It's like... Ah, oh, that, that is such an interesting... Like, that whole... It's so... It's like, oh! It's so cre It's such a creative choice to make in the movie. Right? I, yeah, no, I'm like, I want to watch it again, too. We should have a... No, 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 save it, too. We should have, um... In your Discord, we should do a Fifth Element movie night. And... Watch it in Discord. There's an idea for you. Save it. Save it. Agent. Yes? Oh, I'm still here. Oh, yeah? There are but a couple more scum for you to remove from this earth. Okay. <laughs> and everyone in the nation may sleep peacefully again. Oh, good. There's a trailer park on the edge of town. Head that way immediately. The only move that came close to threatening my crush on Gary Oldman. Oh, you know, it's you know, it's a very um it's a very unique style, but you know, it's it's got some it's got some um pomp to it. It's so weird, like the the like the dome thing with the fringe, it's and like and then all these like henchmen have got the, the dome thing. It's so weird. And the the shorts, it's like, what is going on? And the all new ice cube system. Flamethrower, my favorite. This, this crate is supposed to be full. Zero stones, zero crates. Oh, so you are merchants after all. I can't, I can't remember all the lines. I can't. I haven't done his voice in ages. I can't do it right. I can't do it right. Where am I going? 
I'm just thinking of the fifth element. I can't remember what I'm doing now. I think I'm going on a mission. What's the mission? Save the world. <laughs> a real professional would have asked about the little red button on the bottom of the gun. <laughs> Favorite bit though, and I'm sure I'm sure this is one of your favorite bits, Zobi, is the um where they've got the the bomb. <laughs> Wait, come on, my man. Now, if you tell me that this is a bomb, then all the security alarms will go off because all the ho all these hotels have got bomb bomb detectors, right? <laughs> it's gonna be a long night. Better stay out the cheap well, way so I can crash this case. Need to count down to ten. I need to get my we'll stuff on a blocker. Then I can start One, making some headway. One, two, headway. three, four, five, six, seven. It's so fucking funny. It's so good. And then the screaming with the explosion. It's so. It's so ridiculous. It's so good. It's so funny. I love it. <laughs> he was. He really was. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's like, goes all trouble, get the bomb, and then the big one. It's so good. It's so good, man. And then, like, even just, like, the Lilu getting that rad fight sequence, but it's to the opera music. Oh, it's, it's just... It's just... Oh, it's too good. Officer Callahan. Officer Callahan. Detective Comerty. What's he in for this time? You already know. Hiding in closets and scaring poor women. Hope it's Hobo Joe from Bloodwash! What you know, Hobo Joe? I know you all ain't got nothing better to do than harass an old man. I didn't mean to scare nobody. It's Hobo Joe. Some people will be like, why is that? Why is that so good? But if you've played Bloodwash, Hobo Joe. I can assure you that we have much better goddamn things to be doing than booking you for the millionth time. <laughs> oh, sorry, Joe. Look, things aren't great right now. Why don't you go home to the missus and stay out of closets? This boy is fueled like fire. I just love the. Come on, my man. How does it feel to be out here in the big, the big wide world? Thrill, 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 thrill. <laughs> oh, did uh, the sniper killer strike again? Now, I really hope I didn't come here to play Pumba with you on the radio. <laughs> You've never seen the Fifth Element before, Frog. Yeah. Oh, Tolga likes Fifth Element too. Ah. Uh, yeah, I need to make more Fifth Element. Well, speaking of, um, once I do this job app, once I see how this job application goes within the next month, um, it will determine if I will still have time to stream nearly as much as I currently do. Um. If I don't get the job, then I definitely want to look at, you know, getting some fresh redemptions, graphics, bunch of stuff like that. Um, and I know, like, after already seeing what Zobi One Kenobi has done, making a multi-pass, just on a whim one day, um, want to be hitting up Zobi to do some, some more, like, Fifth Element-inspired graphics and art and stuff so we will see we will see i'll stay out of closets yes i'll throw some dough your way zobi of course uh, for the sake of the city more free hugs for the sake of the city hobo joe but yeah in so the the other game made by the same developer 
blood wash early on in the game you meet hobo joe so it's, it's all connected <laughs> it's all connected officer shithead fuck off commodity say take a good look because this is your future real soon I hear the chief is mighty pissed at you. Thinks you're cracking after your stunt a few nights ago. Running around town like you're dirty hairy, having shootouts with ghosts. Ghosts? You'll know what I mean if the chief catches you. Look, it's the name of the best platformer game ever. Glover. Dutch. What are you staring at so intently, Big D? An x-ray of your ruptured asshole if you call me that again. Ha <laughs> ha, you always wear a filthy son of a bitch. Uh, it, it, is, it is never a wrong time to bring up the great game that is Glover. Hey, Dutch, I just wanted to thank you for, uh, you know, tackling this case with me. If you weren't by my side this whole time, I'd think I'm losing my marbles. The other chat was more honest about Glover's qualities. Oh, you look, you just gotta, you just gotta have a bit of patience, you know? You gotta, you know, you gotta have a bit of patience. A bit of skill. Yeah, a bit of, you know, you gotta give it a, gotta give it a chance. Rome wasn't built in a day. Eh, don't mention it. Those two need to stick together. Something stinks about this whole sniper business. I enjoyed it enough as a kid. I may have needed a, a, a guide in a magazine to finish it, but I enjoyed it. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't my first choice, you know, uh, as a kid, you know, on a Saturday or a Sunday, you know, I would be reaching for, you know, Ocarina of Time, Goldeneye, Banjo Kazooie. You know, but sometimes, you know, sometimes there was the odd day where it's like, you know, you reached to the very back of the cupboard and you're like, what's this? Ah, oh, it's Glover. That's not a doorstop. I just want to get this freak off the streets. I can't help but feeling like there's more to this than some nut job with a gun. I know what you mean. We'll get him. Never played Bubsy, and I never will. Never. A comedy. Yeah. Nothing. And never mind. Dutch, I swear to God, if you're the killer. Strange book. This is Detective Ballard's desk. He's a strange one, and kind of our resident expert on the occult. What with all the batshit stuff that goes down in this area we need an expert looks like he's found himself some homework that's one thick book gives me a headache just looking at it sounds like a cool guy I suppose we go speak to the chief oh no can't go in there where are we going interrogation room no alright we're going to the locker room, I guess. Do 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 do. Hello? Oh, damn cutbacks. Oh! What was that? There's a snake in the locker room again. Wait. Haven't we been seeing this pack with the sniper when it, it always. Jesus Christ, you just about gave me a heart attack. 
Look, I didn't want to say anything out there with all those bozos around. But you need to know. Motherfucking Dutch, you're not telling me something! There was a couple of guys at the station earlier. They were looking for you. Frog, what are you, what are you on about? They looked real serious. Black suits, sunglasses, <laughs> probably feds. The ones we saw in the alleyway. Just what are we getting into, comedy? Your name is on all the sniper killer reports, which is why they're probably looking for you. Believe you me, I wish I knew. Just watch your back out there. Someone's not happy having that big nose of yours sniffing around. Thanks, Dutch. Listen, the Chief wants to talk to you too. Right now, like you in his office five minutes ago. No dodging him tonight. <laughs> He's on one. Mate, I checked before and I couldn't click E on his door, so it's not my fault. Great. It's really turning into my lucky night. Maybe I should buy a lotto. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Now get on out of here. I got a hot date tonight and I need to change into my Sunday best. Dutch, you mad dog. It's, it's so, it's so cooked. It's so cooked. My mind immediately jumped to like, what, like if I, if I had a hot date, what would I want to go to? And then my mind immediately jumped to remembering that um i once went to uh it came through when i was still in brisbane it came through it's where they play a star wars movie but then there's a live orchestra and i was like that's what i would do so did, did you have you ever been to one of those zobi so like when i was still in brisbane it came through where it was yeah they played empire strikes back up on a big screen and then there was an orchestra playing the soundtrack for the whole movie it was awesome so i that was my way of ticking off empire strikes back so i can say i've seen every single star wars movie at the cinema except return of the jedi so i'm waiting for one of those to happen again for return of the jedi or i missed out this year when they, you know, they replay them at the cinemas. I couldn't go this year because I had something on, but I just got to tick off Return of the Jedi and I've seen all of them at the cinema. Oh, Zobi, if you ever see that come through, worth every penny. Like, all the cellos, when they start playing the Imperial March. Holy shit. Holy shit. It was so cool. I've, Frog, I've never played Rayman. Like, you know, the soundtrack's good enough already. And when you play, when you watch it on like a good sound system, it's great. But like an actual orchestra was, oh man, I want to do it again. <laughs> Take a seat, Kamari. You've been pretty busy lately, Kamari. Oh, it's it's an experience, isn't it? Keep keep an eye out, Zobi. It's the bomb. Feeling tired, burnt out. No more than usual, Chief. Hmm, that's interesting. That's interesting because here I was trying to figure out why you out there acting like a raging psychopath. What are you talking about? I'm talking about this report on my desk. Last night, you reported three junkies attacked you in that building you were rummaging around in. And that you had to act in self-defense when you shot them. I only shot that mannequin ten times, Chief. 
Chief, are you implying that it wasn't in self-defense? Motherfucker, what I'm implying is that I don't believe that there was anyone down there to begin with. We sent an officer and an EMT crew where you stated they were. They didn't find a soul, not even any evidence of a fight. So forgive me that I'm looking for a reason why you're seeing ghosts. Two trues, I... Those first four seasons of Dexter, amazing. The rest are all right. And I'm really annoyed at that New Blood one they did. It was it was really promising. And then it was suddenly like, they just dropped the ball. But the first four seasons of Dexter, oh. And Sergeant Dokes, surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> But I love I love going back and re I love going back and rewatching Dexter, um, Vikings, Sons of Anarchy, Breaking Bad, stuff like that. I love re I love revisiting that like once every year or two. It's like there's something about you, Morgan. <laughs> it's like come on, man, I'm the guy that brings in donuts. But Dexter's so much fun. I love the the comedy side. It's so good, and I think they're I think they're doing they're doing a prequel season, and then they're gonna do like another sequel season. I'm like, please, can you do it right? Come on, man. Just started watching season one again as easy background show. Ah, oh, and ah, oh. like especially when you don't know any better, like the with the ice truck killer, and then the more you learn, it's so, it's so good, and then. The Trinity Killer. That was nuts. That was so good. Someone must have taken the bodies, Chief. Look, these suits have been following me and I... The, yeah, even just the, the first season on its own was so good. And then season two, it's just that damn... What's her name? The British chick. Oh... Can't watch Third Rock from the Sun the same way again. It's really, it's rough seeing him in a scary role like that, isn't it? Because he's such a, such a fun guy. Old John Lithgow. Don't you dare let another word slip out of your mouth and force me to put you on psychological leave with that conspiracy bullshit. I want you at your desk filling out reports. Or Layla. On vacation. Oh, she's... Me? She gets on my nerves. Zoe, she gets on my nerves. Chief, I don't know what's going on. I just... But then I li did, like... Like, even though some of the later seasons weren't as good, I really liked, um... Was it Lumen? Who he teams up with? I liked that. I liked that aspect. I just told you what the hell is going on. Yeah, you don't not. Nah, yeah, you don't you don't mess with Angel in Dexter. Angel is he's he's the best. Angel is the best. Like, and when you when you and when you see when you see Angel without a hat or like a new hat, it's like Angel's on the case. <laughs> and Lundy, ah, oh, Lundy was great. Lundy was a great character. Ah. Oh. I'm wanting to, now you're making me want to rewatch it again. God damn it. I mean, hold it off. I'm like, I'll oh, wait. I will wait. Lundy! Okay. Let me finish the week. I'll go on vacation. First thing Monday. <sighs> no more crazy talk. No more running in the dark buildings. Just let me try and fit these puzzle pieces together for a few more days. Fine. Okay, Kamari. But. If I see your face on Monday, I'll bust your butt into next month. You're our best, so I'm trying to protect you. I'll trust you this time. So, I'll tell you there was another killing tonight. Tonight? Yes, eight high school kids in a cemetery. We didn't catch Mr. Sniper, naturally, but we did pick up an interesting individual who was around the scene. He's in the interrogation room. Oh, God. I'm gonna let Dutch handle it, but I'll give you this chance. 
dismissed. Thank you, sir. It'll be the creepy guy. From Bloodwash. Fuck's sake. Hello. <laughs> Where is she? Where are the other drugs? What's your name? All right, pal. What's your name? Don't you fuck with me. All right. What were you doing out there? Admiring the stars. Listening to the dead. Oh, the stories they tell. They say they'll be joining us very soon. What's with the glasses? What's with the glasses? They protect me from seeing things I shouldn't see. Is this all a joke? Are you yanking my chain? I assure you, detective, I would do no such thing. <laughs> yeah, just, just don't want to see red. I just, I, it's very important I don't see red at all. Did you see anything suspicious? Who can say? You walked past the killer. You're a liar. You know what you, you know. Ever. You better start making sense. Or what, detective? Detective. I hope you soon see clearly. There are much larger things happening around us than you realize. Sit down. You're a nut job. Get out of here. You don't have anything useful to say and are wasting my time. Great. Our best witness and his eyeballs are gone. The fact that he's a complete loon is just the cherry on top. It's gonna have to be up to me to finally crack this. A bunch of nonsense from some crackpot. Maybe the sight guys can get something useful out of him eventually, but I won't hold my breath. I'd say he's got a long stay ahead of him in the state asylum. These were found in an abandoned house nearby the graveyard. The same cigarette butts have been found at a few of the crime scenes now. So one of our few physical evidences we have now is we know what the killer likes to smoke. Oh, right. So they were left in the locker. Like, these aren't comedies smokes. I suck on these, too. Oh. He's got good taste, at least. Oh, okay. That still makes me a little uncomfortable. Kids celebrating graduation gunned down in a cemetery. Only positives being they died right where they're about to be buried. He has to slip up one of these times. Until then, the only thing we can do is stay vigilant and work around the clock to bag this psycho. Need to keep my head on straight. All this other weird crap I've been seeing. Maybe I should drink more water. Hmm. Hmm. This is the only road to my target and I can't risk being seen. I must eliminate all who stand in the way of saving this country.
Who we got here? It's just some construction site workers. going on with my aim? One sounded like that, um... Oh dear. That little, like that... Little animal that's been... On TikTok, like the little... I don't know what kind of animal it is. Like... Oh my god, my aim! My aim is... Deteriorating. Hey buddy. Oh. Someone escaped. Ah! I, I, I can't mimic it. You know, the little, that little critter? It sounded like that. I was like, what? I suppose the ones across the river I need to be aiming higher, I guess. Oh, let's try again. Do 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 That's everyone on this side. Oh, fuck. Good luck with that frog. Jesus. Oh, what? What is going on with the aim? gonna be peak. Rip the electricity bill. Oh. Let's reload while they're away. was scarf but at least we got him
I really want to see how this story ends before I go to bed tonight. Oh, Zobi! What a shame. That... Oh, if only you had someone to help you drink it! This entire community is infested with satanic rituals who want nothing more than to overthrow our government. Oh yeah? Is that? Is it right? We can't have that. We can't have that. However, you must follow these instructions precisely. At this moment, you must not kill anyone. Okay. We need you to find ways to get everyone inside their homes. Get inside their homes? However... <laughs> Zobi, you must... You must find a way. You must find the strength within yourself. Okay. But do not kill. Not yet. All right. Loud and clear. Once everyone is in their homes, we will contact you with further instructions. The main thing is if you give it a go, Zobi. You got it. As long as you give it a go. One last thing, Agent. Intel suggests keeping an eye out for ways to climb onto the trailer roofs as they will provide adequate vantage points. Okay. Good luck, Agent. No worries, mate. I'm like, I'm trying to... I think you're right, Zobi. Like, we gotta... Sometimes you don't want to just take at face value what someone says directly. You want to read between the lines. What the dog doing? Oh, it's a cat. What the cat doing? Nerd. Aww. I'm a cat. I'm a kitty cat. And I dance, 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 and I dance, dance, dance. I'm a cat. I'm a kitty cat. Gotta get up. I think I know what we gotta do here. Got a feeling. Wait for him to come back. Oh. No, I'm not gonna shoot the key. Not, I, pr I promise. No, I need a better angle. is around <gasps> blood wash <laughs> the faces so cooked. Say goodbye to your ball, buckaroo. Oh. <gasps> Perfect physics. You just shoot the you just you just shoot the inflatable thing, Corbs. You don't have to shoot the source of the water. If you shoot 
the thing that's filled up with air. Me brain good sometime. Should have paid up, Tommy. Ooh. Did I just hear a whip? Um... Oh my. Oh heavens. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Where's the... What are you looking at? Of my face. Okay. Oh, don't judge me, you little tool. Ever since Harold croaked, I have to find other ways to get my rocks off. Oh. Oh, she's watching. <laughs> I mean, he's in the backyard. What? Ariel's. Hello, how are you doing? What on earth? What on earth is going on here? Um. <laughs> do I just, do I shoot the paddle or do we take out the light? Um. Literally out in the backyard, Zoe. Literally out in the backyard. We got, we got a paddle and everything. No? <laughs> like, do I, do you, do you, I shoot the paddle? Or the light? Oh. See, now they're like, there's no light. Was it the tree house? Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was just like implying that there's like that's happening inside one of the trailers. I didn't expect to see, like, just out in the backyard. Oh my god. That's a paddling. Well, that's a little, that's a bit dark. This has to end. Once word gets out that he took out an entire neighborhood, there's gonna be a mass panic. People should be free to use paddles in their backyard, the comfort of their own home, without risk of being blown up. There has to be something here. Anything that can help me figure out where he's going to strike next. Preach it. <laughs> Maybe that guy with the glasses wasn't nuts. Uh, 
I've never seen anything like this. Who's that? Well, look. If you need to use a paddle, that's your right. What happened to the old, old faithful? <laughs> the, uh, I guess the door first. Oh, I almost forgot about this tape. Let's see what we have here. Old fashioned. Some may say old fashioned. The other. Oh. Oh, the tape! They fixed it in the lab from earlier in the game. Come on. What was that? What? What was that? Come on, what in blazes are you doing? Paperwork and shit. I, uh, I... It's the city's parade tonight, you lame brain. All hands on deck. Oh, no. We're gonna have flatfoots crawling all over these streets like crabs in a hooker's love oven. We'll get you some coffee on the way down there. You look like shit. Sir! Crabs in a hook crabs in a hooker's love oven. <laughs> I have not heard that before. Oh, we gotta be nearing the end. Like, if we're taking someone out. I'm an agent. You must be careful. At a parade, like, we gotta be near the end. This is your final mission. Turns out the mayor of this rotten city is the Antichrist himself. Go okay. figure. Okay. You must find a vantage point above the parade and kill the demon for all his flock to witness. Flatfoot must be certain that you can escape after taking the shot. The sit bits? I've never heard that either. I know it's a pain in the sit bits. We ask you to rendezvous with another field agent. I do not know how to pronounce that, but thank you for the follow. The sit bit, sir. Oh, we're rendezvousing with another field agent. Follow the red balloons to him and keep a low profile. After meeting with him and finding a solution to ensuring your escape, proceed into the church. Red balloons. Oh my god. Red balloons to the other guy. Is that a balloon or a sign? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, what? And this is the guy we were playing as at the cop set at the cop station. Please move along, citizen. 
Can I help you? So it's, it's not, it's not the... any of the cops. Oh. Beetlejuice? You need my help to say my name three times. Ah, oh, like... Yeah, you, know, you got, like, Beetlejuice, you've got, um... The clown, the, you know, it. You know, people in drains are severely misunderstood. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll help you make your grand escape. <laughs> Boom, baby, boom! They're just having a rough day. <laughs> Go get him, tiger. <laughs> okay, I think they're done laughing. Hello, Slappy, thank you for the raid. <laughs> How are you going? We, uh, we just got C4 explosive from, uh, our friend in the drain. Um, as you do, it's de- it's- And I- I just picked up it. The red, um, the red balloons. A bit of a- a bit of a subtle nod there. Oh! From karate chops to sniper's glee. We're here to watch- oh, what a treat! Your killer skills can't be bit- odd. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. You should have seen the shots I've been missing. My aim has gone... Ah! Oh, it... My aim started bad, got good, and then as the night's progressed, it's progressively gotten worse. But I think we're near the end. I think we're near the end, so... So I just gotta... I just gotta hold on. Oh! Just all in one go. Just gotta, just gotta hold on. I think we're near the end. It looks like they've got, like, police snipers ready to go. Oh, hi! As you were. Oh. Excuse me, but that is not yours. But it's glowing. Can I have it anyway? No? Alright. Slick! It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's Luigi's Mansion. With a sniper rifle. We have to get to the, the Belfry. Well, it's like, it's the keys glowing. And the, the game's taught me that I need to press E on the glowing things. Like, gimme, gimme. Gimme that. So you watch, I'm gonna come around here. It's locked. Excuse me. I need that key. That is also locked. Can't climb that. Whoa, buddy. So she so she's got the key. Assuming to the um to the church itself. So then where would we get the key? To unlock the gate here. Or do we need to unlock the gate? Can I, like, go... I was just thinking, like, can I go somewhere discreet and shoot the lock? But I... I don't think we can get up on any of those buildings. Um... Well, maybe now that we've interacted with the door... Maybe now there's dialogue with the nun? No? 
Um. Okay, that'll do. That'll do it. So cool. Just Jesus on the ground. How is everybody doing? Okay, is to here. Okay. Anything? Oh, we can climb up. Yeah, can't go through there. Yeah, I imagine we climb. All right. What's like? Oh my god. That poor kid. Oh. Can I just shoot anyone? Uh, we're doing some praying with father, are we? <laughs> um, all right. It's all right. We'll just confess about it next week. The goal of the police chief to demand access to our belfry for the parade is appalling. I would never allow these clumsy fools to make a mess of our historic cathedral. Besides, I wouldn't want the police to disturb mine and Sister Thelma's communion tonight. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Mate, you're missing the parade. Just to be safe. Alright. Alright, Mr. Mayor, come on round. Assuming that's him. Oh! Just in the hand. Comedy. 
One of the boys saw a man running from the church into the alley down the street. He's our guy. Wait, did he say the alleyway? Where did he say to go? I I was thinking of too much, too many things. That alleyway? Alleyway behind the, oh, I, I just. I don't know what I was thinking. Whoa. Get in comedy. Clutch Dutch strikes again. Let's go! All right, stop here. He thought he lost us there for a second. He turned down this dirt road, and this is the only place he could have veered off to. Yup, there's the bastard's car right there in front of the house. Let's get this son of a bitch. Oh my god. Still no dice on the radios. None. I can't get through to anybody. It's the fuckiest thing I've ever seen. Well, there'll be no backup tonight. It's up to us to put a stop to this once and for all. You ready, partner? As ready as I'll ever be. Good. We can't let him slip away. So I'll go around back, and you go in through the front. Deal? Deal. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is Detective Comedy with the police. I'm so excited. It's just a pile of mail. It looks like mostly junk. They're addressed to Jeffrey Gabriel. Dutch. Dutch, where are you? Dutch! Oh, the rifle's not there. He's got it. Can't shoot the lock off. Can't make heads or tails of anything here. Just a bunch of gibberish. Jesus Christ. Oh. 
We... We got him. We got him! Dutch? Dutch? Dutch, where are you? We got him! Hey, pal. Looks like I'm not getting through. This will be the last chance I get to re- If not, then I guess... Uh, I, I guess this is goodbye. Joseph am I? What? No, I've been, um... I've been too scared to try it. Zobi, I watched, um... I watched a friend stream it. Oh, why can't I... S I watched a st friend stream it once. And I saw some stuff that I was like, oh my god. I'd like to give it a go when I'm brave enough eventually. Some of the things I saw, I was like... I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know if I'm ready! Oh. You, do you stream it? Or do you just play? I'll piss off. Okay, I will... I will... I will have a look when you do it. Oh my god. I gotta do all that again? was a real one. We want the ones that not transparent. Oh, 
Fuck. Fake. Fake. Real. Oh, God. Okay. Shoot they keep shooting the hands? The whole thing again, really? I couldn't get a checkpoint? I'm gonna know this off by heart. Yeah. Real. Fake. Fake. Real. Fake. Fake. A oh, balls. Real. <laughs> Pushing it. Okay. Shoot that. Shoot the hands or. Well, what's that? Ah. Shoot the glowing things. Good shot, Corbs. What? 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 Surely there's something after the credits. Please. There, buddy what he has still been unresponsive ain't you all gonna fix him uh, how long should it take oh this isn't an exact science detective who's to say if he'll ever snap out of it he doesn't seem to be in shock he just seems... What? Well, empty. There's just no trace of himself at all. My only guess is that perhaps he was under such intense stress trying to find the sniper killer that after he finally did and delivered the killing shot, he just broke no longer needing to hold it together the damn burst 
That theory sucks. <laughs> yes, well, theorizing is all I can do at the moment while he sits there like a marble statue. God. Get better soon, buddy. I'll check back in tomorrow. All right, lights out! <laughs> Neato. Neato. Bloody hell, that's good. Cool. That was good. That was good. I want more answers about who was the sniper killer and stuff, but that was good. That was really good. That was a great, like, step up from... So... The same people that made this one also made where where is it? Let me just find it on Steam here. Yeah, so if that if there was any interest in that, you want to go back and play Bloodwash and Knights at and Night at the Gates of Hell. Because they're both connected to that. And they I enjoyed I really enjoyed both of those. So Yeah, that was sick. Good stuff. Almost makes me want to go back and play the replay the other ones. 